Hi, so we're going to have a look at breaking down an emotional drama type cue. So first of all, let's get rid of that scary uh, front screen. Um, I'm going to run through how the cue was put together. But first, let's have a look at the instruments that we use. Most of the heavy lifting has been done by uh, Crow Hill. So we've got string murmurations and small string gestures. Absolutely great for emotional cue writing for strings. Uh, not particularly good if you want control over every single note uh, or if you want to play fast passages, but for emotional stuff, absolutely fantastic. Um, we've also got uh, Gravity 2 and Damage 2. We've got Native Instruments, Noir Piano, the Pure, and from 52 cues, there's currently a competition with some cymbal slices and I've actually been playing with those to enter a competition there for a bit of fun. Uh, and actually, they came in really handy in this piece. So let's have a listen in so that you know in context what we're actually going to be doing. That seems to make the most sense. Um, so if I just... Headphones are going to help so I know what you're hearing as well. So here is the cue with the mastering on so that you know what we're aiming to complete. Okay, there you have it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the mastering off so that we can hear these in isolation. Um, I will say that... Oh, everyone else got a copy? Nearly finished mine. Um, mainly this is based around... Let's turn the effect off there for a sec. There's a live stream that I did for coming up with some ideas for this sort of emotional thing. It started off very differently, but towards the end of the live stream, I actually came up with using these uh, Crow Hill murmurations. Um, so it'd be you might find that interesting as to how I got to this um, stage in the first place. But it's basically around. It's sort of got a pedal tone of an E but the chords it's based around a sort of C um, an E sus2 add 9 and 
then an A and sort of B5 that hasn't really got a, a third in it. Um, the piano is literally doing the pedal notes all the way through but as you'll notice they build up um, as we uh, go further through so starting off sparse building up because you you know we've got some progression uh, through the track there then um, the main bit is these wonderful uh, tasty castos um, which come in here from Crowhelm and then when you hold these notes they wander off So loads of emotion in those recordings and then similarly um, all the murmurations you can hear those variations coming through and then towards the end you know, we build up even more and it obviously raises in octave as well eventually we've got these all three notes coming together again E B E so it's based around that E pedal and that's what glues most of this together. Um, we've got some synths coming in here. These are in uh, triplets. They start off quite quietly and build until here. And then they follow that original chord pattern I was telling you about, so sort of C, E, A, B. Alongside those, we've also got a sort of 4-4. Four, four. So in the second half, this builds another rhythmic element in. The symbols from 52 cues. Um, I have reversed this one in the middle which I've repeated at the end, and I've used a couple of them uh, as introduction parts as well. I'll go through the uh, plugins in a sec. And then damage, this is quite sparse actually, because I didn't want to overwhelm it with rhythm. So we've got some very quiet tapping percussion. You can hardly hear it to start with. And then it builds and a bit more and then when we get to the second half we proper introduce a rhythm okay so effects that uh, I put on these so the piano was actually relatively quiet to start with uh, let's go to well a busy a bit at the end I suppose so I put a compressor on bit of chorus and then a stereo delay so there you go that's what we did with the piano um, for the uh, strings what I've done with the EQ is rolled off uh, bottom end there 
hand again there so we're not building up the, that extra weight in the bottom end um, I've actually taken it off these bases as well because they were both adding to it I've taken a little notch out of uh, the base raise one uh, symbols the only thing I've done is you'll notice of we are actually only hearing the reverb so I've got 100% wet zero dry so you're only hearing the actual reverb from the cymbals. If we do that the other way round, solo that. So that's the original sound, but if you just hear the reverb. And then it carries on ringing. Yeah. So let's put that back where it was. Just sort of uh, gives it a more airy feel to it. And I rolled off some of the bottom end from. Uh, the damage hits but most of these are controlled with velocity so hear that one that's very quiet so mainly those were velocity controlled um, and at the end uh, put on the new logic mastering uh, plug in and use the clean setting after it analysed that it needed to scoop out a whole load of sort of mids, low mids. Um, yeah. And that is how we came up with an emotional drama cue. Hope you found that interesting. Like and subscribe always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.